Hi guys, Alexandra here. Welcome to the daily reading for Monday, the 22nd of April 2019. As you can see, the entourage is quite different today. Uh, I'm spending this time in bed, this day in bed, uh, because uh, I've got food poisoning and I'm quite uh, weak. <laughs> And I like to stay in bed sometimes, you know, just just like that. So this is my hmm, a little uh, table for doing stuff when, when I'm in bed. And it's tiny, but it's quite enough to show you three cards from the beautiful White Sage Tarot. I'm going to use it today. I've already shuffled the cards. I won't use bells today, because I would have to get up. I don't want to do it. <laughs> uh, it's good to stay in bed for some time. Okay. Three cards as always. The first card will tell us about the energy of the day. Um, I can't remember when, where Moon is, but I think it's in either Scorpio or Sagittarius. I think it moved to Sagittarius. Yeah. So we have fire energy for the day and the energy of earth because uh, the sun is already in Taurus. All right, let's look what's the main energy for the day, for Monday, the 21st, the 22nd of April 2019. And it's going to be this card. Then we have one card showing what is recommended, what should we do, what's there for us, what we should follow, something nice, something positive, where to focus energy, and the last one is about what to avoid, what is not recommended. What shouldn't we do? What's not good for us this day? Okay. I have two cards for this. At the bottom of the deck, we have Judgment. Quite a strong energy. Oh, suddenly got dark here. I don't know why. The sun has set, perhaps. Yeah, so this reading is quite different than uh, any any other. Let's see what is the first card. We have Five of Cups. Something broken. Uh, I like to see the possibility of Kintsugi here. Of course, sorry, I'm gonna... <laughs> Sniff. Uh, of course, the damage is done, and you can see it here. But the beautiful message that comes with this card is that when someone is broken, you can always fix it. And the the sheer sheer breakdown, the sheer damage can be transformed into something beautiful and can add up to the wholeness of the thing. If you don't know what Kintsugi is, and I was, I think I was inspired uh, to have this association because of this golden thread that symbolizes the third chakra. Uh, so I think I, that, 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 you know, that, gave me this hint of Kintsugi. If you don't know what Kintsugi is, it's an ancient art, Japanese art, uh, that when you when you break something that is of value, usually emotional value for you, you can glue it with a kind of golden raisin, golden glue, uh, raisin glue. And because every mm, every mark like this is unusual 
is uh, very characteristic. It creates something that is absolutely mm, not to multiply. It's one and only, it's unique. And also those breaks and those damages and those faults make us who we are. So be aware of uh, of your faults, but don't despair. Just make yourself beautiful with this, like in Kintsugi. Okay, this card is also associated with uh, third chakra, as I said, the solar plexus. So it's about um, life, the energy of life, the fire energy. So there is great power here to rebuild in a new way. Okay. What is recommended? What should we do? We have the moon. So a very specific day, it seems. Dream. Dream big. Have visions. Uh, let yourself be in a fairyland a little bit. Um, step into shadows if you need to. If there is night, go boldly into it and ask all the questions that you don't ask in the light of the day because something may be revealed to you in the darkness. Something emerges from deep waters here. And you gain consciousness in unprecedented area. So it's an indication that you should not be afraid to dive deep into dark things today. Things that usually make you want to run away and hide. Not today. Today the moon is your, is your friend and it shines a very special light upon your life. Okay? What not to do, what is not recommended. I pulled two cards because this one wanted to emerge. And the first is Five of Pentacles, which is about, again, being broken, as you can see. And seeing only this um, damage done here. Uh, we have, I think, red light, so base, base chakra, muladhara. I don't think it's orange. So it's about your connection to the earth and feeling safe in the universe as it is, in its ups and downs. No matter where the wind blows from. There are times in life that we feel deprived of something. But it's not a good day to be in that state. And as the second card, and I already know this, is Eight of Swords. I think it's not a good day to ponder upon material situation and perhaps some kind of down word movement in it if you experience anything like this. It may be that today your thoughts are going to bring you down and you may feel desperate about something in material realm which not necessarily would be truth. These cards indicate that because today you are prone to negative thinking, downward, downward spirals, it's not a good day to uh, spend a lot of time in your thoughts. Spend a lot of time in your dreams today instead. Don't focus on the material because it may seem uh, not very well, which is, doesn't necessarily truth. Okay? I don't know why, yeah. 
But there is this judgment energy here. So something closes. Something, uh, something is judged. Something is evaluated. Perhaps you need this time of darkness to see the light in it. As you can see, um, there is light bulb here in the picture. But don't be harsh on yourself, please. Don't, don't try to take too much on your plate, on your back. Don't create the mesh that really puts you in place. Instead, give yourself unconditional love. It's the best thing you can do of these kinds of energies and the new energy will arrive out of this i know i pulled out more cards but i had a feeling to do it <laughs> all right i thank you for your time and attention i hope you're having a wonderful time and i wish you a wonderful monday until next reading bye bye